Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon Dusseldorf. The most iconic recreational vehicle is of course the Volkswagen Camper. And I'm going to start off by showing you this one here. ID Buzz Camper. Well, that's what they call it. This thing is going to cost 80,000 euro. So, but what this is, it's fully electric. And uh, so, it's a fully electric car with a bed in the back and a bit of camping equipment to go with it. What it does have, what I'm trying to demonstrate, which I can't, <laughs> it's got a great way of opening the doors, but I can't demonstrate it, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll demonstrate it by closing this one. Look, you just give a little touch like that and it closes. Isn't that clever? So, I'll open it back up again, just to make the point. Just to make the point. Just to make the point. Never mind that, it's, it probably opens sometimes. Uh, at the back, we've got the bed, and we've got here a QQQ system. This is a, one of these boxes, camping box, opens up, you've got your heat, uh, you've got cooking facility, you've got a fridge, you've got a bit of storage, you've got your water, not a lot, haven't got a toilet, uh, but at least I suppose you can sleep in the, in the back. Um, it is an electric car you can sleep in. Uh, there's another one from the Polish company Mercus, which has got even got a tent in the roof. Hey, I'll show you what the front of the thing looks like as well. So there you go, that's what it looks like at the front. Uh, right, coming over here, I've got a more typical Volkswagen camper, uh, VW camper. Uh, this thing here, a California 6.1 Ocean, at a cost of 98,000, I know you don't believe me, there you go, 98,109 euros and 55 cents. And uh, obviously any camper van, uh, motorhome, RV, depends on the equipment level that comes with it, I think this one here has got a solid gold chassis and that might explain the cost. Actually, that was a little bit of a joke. Uh, in here, we've got the fridge. It's a deep, that's a big fridge, that one. It's a bit stiff trying to open it. Wow. And here we've got two burners. Let's see if I can lift this up. This is also stiff. Mm. Anyway, two burners and a sink. Uh, it's got a nice floor with these rails in there. Uh, VW automatic uh, gearbox, tent in the roof, a tent, a tent's a tent. It says no warmer than the t-shirt I'm wearing right now. But there's a bit of a classic. I lived in a VW camper for well, a year and a half. Well, actually the winter I spent in the United States in California, so uh, <laughs> and maybe that doesn't entirely count. Caddy, California, uh, normally thought to be the smallest, I don't want to call it a camper, it's a car, but uh, 53,285, making it just about the cheapest vehicle at this event. It isn't, but it's just about. The che Sorry, I'm not, it's caravans, isn't it? I forgot, I'm including caravans. It's the cheapest vehicle with an engine in. And so, the seats lie down flat like that, and you stick a bed over the top. So that might be handy uh, if you think you're not gonna get home or something like that. Box system, uh, this is an unusual box system. And so you've got the your, your cooker and below you've got some storage as well. Two floor box system. It got, comes with bags and things for keeping all sorts of other stuff inside. All right, let's come over here to the, oh, this one here has been, this one here has been fenced off. And uh, this is the California concept. Uh, I'll do this one last, because I'll, <laughs> and I'll do it now. Sorry, I thought someone else was filming. I don't like to interrupt other people filming. Uh, California concept, it, it looks, uh, it's got this retro look to it which takes one past, oh, here's the entrance. There you go, there's, there's the way. Kein Eingang, it says. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, it's not allowed, sorry. It's not allowed, it's not allowed. I'm not allowed to film this vehicle. Uh, so, okay, fair enough. 
we won't film it. There may be a good reason why it's not allowed to be filmed. So here, the uh, Grand California 680, uh, the 680 Grand California, 104,000 euros, manufactured in Poznan, uh, Poland. This is the um, largest selling vehicle from a uh, uh, recreational vehicle. Sorry, no, I'm gonna cover a uh, camper van or even motorhome from Poland. And because uh, there are caravans with, uh, sold for more. And here, let's have a look inside. Uh, so 680 centimeters in length. We've got a width a lengthwise bed at the back. We have got in here a, uh, a toilet with a drop down sink there. Actually, it's quite a good size, this one. If it's quite, what I'm getting quite easy. Two uh, drainage points. We've got here two um, gas, one sink. And okay, now well, people say it looks a bit sterile. Uh, it looks a bit like an uh, ambulance or something like that, uh, which I can see. Uh, I can see the argument. I can't even open this. Okay, leave it. Don't want to break anything, as well as filming something I'm not supposed to film. Uh, right, Grand California here. This is the shorter version with a width-wise bed, 600. Uh, so it's 600 and 620 centimeters. I can't quite remember. Any? There you go. 100. The 105,000 euros. What was this? 68,000. That was the base price, though, so it doesn't really count. But the base price, I think, was 68,000 when I count, if I remember correctly. Uh, once more, uh, it looks very similar inside. Uh, it may be see, thought to be somewhat sterile. But what is good, though, is the height, the head height inside. I'm going to turn the camera around just to demonstrate. Look, there's me. Oh, you see how? See how high up it is? Wonderful height. We've got a uh, skylight at the back, uh, USBs, I've uh, got plenty of space below. Uh, we've got this cabin toilet there. I, you know, I think for a six meter vehicle, I think this is really, really good. I shall like this. I do appreciate the looks sterile argument. Also, an extra bed can be made up front. Slides back. Got a ladder here. And uh, anyway. <laughs> and so that's it really, I think. So that is the offering from Volkswagen at this event. So, um, one electric and several others. Uh, anyway, it did say from the one you're not allowed to film over here, the uh, Kein Eingang, so no entry. And so, anyway though, what I can do is I can put it in here. You can see it, I'm gonna finish off with this one. Uh, so you can see what you're not allowed to actually Maybe you are allowed to film it, but you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to go anywhere near it. Well, I don't blame them for that. Oh, look at that! It's an electric one. Isn't that clever? But it's still, effectively, it hasn't got. Um, it hasn't got a toilet in there, so it doesn't classify as a camper van. It is still, in my opinion, a car, even if it does have sleeping space for two people. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you found that interesting and all the best from me in Germany.